Hello, Justin. We just got done with uh, doing our history taking for the head and neck. We're going to now do a physical examination. Okay. I'm going to st start off by inspecting um, the head and the neck. Okay. What I'm looking for is deformity or abnormal posture. Okay. Now we're going to do um, an active range of motion. And I'm going to have you start doing this by touching your chin to your chest. Okay, good. Now, touch your chin to your right shoulder. Okay? And then your chin to your left shoulder. Alright? Now, right ear to your shoulder. And then left ear to your shoulder. Good. And then hyperextend the neck back. Alright. Okay, everything looks good. Um, no deformities. Um, no abnormal postures that I've noticed. Okay. Um, now I'm going to feel your uh, temporal mandibular joint here, um, and then what I'm going to have you do is we're going to do some motions with, the, with that, okay? So go ahead and open your mouth, okay? And I'm feeling how the movement of the jaw is as you open the mouth, and then here is where I would check the opening, where I would take three fingers and I would check to see if your opening is about the width of three fingers, okay? And that, I see that, and it looks good. Okay, now we're going to do lateral movement, so uh, with your mouth a little bit wider open, then move your chin, I mean your, um, yeah, your joint, your jaw, left and right. Okay, good, everything seems good there, there's no abnormal movements. Okay, so then now we're going to do is we're going to do palpation, okay, and I'm going to start off by palpating the sternoclavicular joint. Okay, you know this is your collarbone here, your, so I'm going to feel over here, and I'll feel the joint right about here, okay? Is there any pain? Okay, and what I'm feeling for is fluid, tenderness, okay, um, swelling, any nodules, or crepitus, okay? And I don't feel any crepitus, no swelling, and you don't say there's no tenderness, okay? Okay, next I'm going to move down into the menebrosternal joint, which is right here is your menebrium, and I'm going to find the joint, which is right about here. Do you feel any pain here? Okay, I don't feel any fluid or anything, any nodules there. And then the um, costochondrals, which is the attachment from your, your ribs to your, um, to your menebrium and your sternum here. Okay, so I'm going to feel down here. Is there any pain? All right, any pain here? Okay. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is have your head tilt forward just a little bit, and I'm going to feel the cervical spine, okay? And I don't feel any abnormal uh, nodules, no fluid, any tenderness? Okay. All right, now I'm going to check the paracervical muscles, which is right on the other side of the spine. I'm going to palpate, palpate these. Do you feel any pain any there, any tenderness? No. And then now I'm going to te check the trapezius muscles, which run right about here, all the way down near your scapula. So I'm going to fill here. Any tenderness? Yeah. Right. I don't feel any fluid. Any nodules? Okay. And then um, from there, I'm going to check the rhomboid. Okay. So the rhomboid here. And nothing there as well. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to um, check the, the uh, mandibular joint. Okay. So um, let's do it posteriorly. So I'm going to feel from this side. Okay. And here I, d I don't feel any crepitus. Mm -hmm. And you open your mouth a little bit for me. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so um, the next test, I'm, I'm going to do a test on you. It's called the Sperling's test. And this is um, to check for any um, radiculopathy, radiculopathy. So have you noticed any paresthesia or any numbness or tingling, weird sensations in any of your arms? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, any shooting, like, pain or nerve pain coming down? Yeah. No. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is touch, have you touch your ear, your left ear, to your shoulder, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put downward pressure, and you tell me if you feel anything. No. No. Okay. And then we'll do it on the other side. 
Anything here? No. No? Okay, good. Okay, all the tests seem to come out normal. I didn't notice any abnormal deformities, okay? Any fluid accumulation or any kind of tenderness or nodules or crepitus, okay? Thank you. Thank you.